Well, this has really gotten a little bit warped, but I'm sure it'll still be fine. All I'm doing is marking how thick the wood is, so when I put the bracket down, what I did before is I squeezed it a little too tight, and I wasn't able to get them in and kind of mess things up. And you know, I don't think it's meant for that. Um, it's meant to be loose and then kind of nail it in. So I'm gonna make sure I don't make that mistake on this half of that house. Just use this, make sure it's it's centered by eye, you know. There, now I know. So I'm gonna do this for all of them. So I had a thought, because I had a little bit of problems over there. I'm thinking maybe this, if I would, you know, put it down where it's supposed to be here, and just line up one side, you know, of this bracket, like this one's heading off that way, but this one's pretty much going straight up. If I would just fix one side and just kind of tack that or put that in, just with one nail, and just leave it here. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So this that just has one nail on there and it's straight up. Now I can take my board and set it in there, kind of line it up tight, and then nail everything down. You know? I think that would be a lot easier. And if, if it's not, you know, I can just come back and nail it and whatever. But uh, that's what I think we're going to do. Just put one nail on each one and line it up and see how it goes. And if I really screw up, I only have one nail to pull out and I, I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm going to do that. See, I'll line this up. I know that's good. Get my nail placed in there so I can let go of the bracket. Tap it in there. Now, I don't know, maybe this is old news. Maybe this is how people do it. I haven't YouTubed this enough. There. Now that side's lined up, and when I slide it in, then I'll squeeze this, nail that down, and then nail everything in. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. As I, I mentioned before, this is a one and a half acre homestead where one acre is pretty much flat that I'm going to homestead on, while the other half acre is wooded, but it's mostly dead pine and pine trees, and it's going to come down, and I'm going to replace all of those trees with uh, fast-growing uh, hardwood, such as, I believe, honey locust, the, 
the kind, the thornless kind. And I'm gonna plant that through there. The only reason to have that half of a lot to plant trees is for fuel. Uh, so I'm not planning on doing like a food forest or anything like that in that half lot. The one acre is going to be all food production. My dream is to open up a side door in the little uh, tiny house and walk directly into my greenhouse. So in a sense that will be my pantry, <laughs> my greenhouse. So I'm excited about that. The greenhouse is going to be aquaponics and not just the the crappy kind of aquaponics that you see some stringy plants that aren't looking good but you're feeding the fish all day and you're more or less just growing fish and the aquaponics cleans the uh, like the urine the nitrates out of the water which is great however uh, Becky this woman in Florida and her husband uh, they are doing huge fantastic things with aquaponics uh, so my idea is they have an online class I'm going to take and I'm going to mimic what they're doing. Now, I can tell you this, you know, you grow tilapias and when it gets too cold, I want to say like under 70 degrees or, seven, or 65 degrees, they're harmed by 60 degrees, like they're dead. Uh, so I can only grow them pretty much nine months out of the year. However, Maturity is nine months. So I should be able to grow several or a couple at least a couple hundred pounds of fish That I can store in my freezer Yeah, I said freezer. I'm gonna have to have some form of electricity. I have to if I'm I Was being selfish I think um, If I was a younger man and this wasn't for retirement Yes, I'd probably have a cabin without any electricity at all um, however, I'm thinking of food storage and there's no better food storage really than a freezer. Uh, you know, of course I can dry out fish or blah, I'm not doing, I'm not doing that. And you know, they have new technology refrigerators and freezers that's on a DC that are extremely efficient. Um, doesn't draw too much power um, and so I'm, I'm probably gonna go that route which means that I might run a little bit of electricity wiring through my cabin and that's another thing I didn't want to do I didn't want to be surrounded by um, that uh, that electricity you know that field um, so I'm gonna keep it at a very very minimal um, and just see how it goes all this is, is up in the air though. I might change my mind tomorrow.